Hi guys and welcome back to Art on Carte. In this video I'm going to be sharing some new brushes that I got to try out. In fact I've used them in two of my latest paintings. One was the Clockwork Fox and one was the Eden picture. Um, and in those videos you guys have already asked me you know what uh, to tell you a little bit more about the brushes so I'm super excited to do that. So let me show you. Pencil and some paper and the best part is having lots of fun with so these brushes came from a company called The Artisan Shop and they sent me this awesome uh, pack of brushes. These brushes came in this super awesome traveling case which is perfect if you want to take your paintings on the go and go on location. It keeps them all nicely safe and snug. It has a wide variety of brushes um, that can fit in this case. It has a little plastic thing that helps keep the brush bristles nice and safe. All these brushes work great with watercolor, acrylic, oil painting, all that good stuff. Each of them have their own little pocket to live in and a little seat belt to keep them from rolling around so it's perfect. Well, let's look at some of these brushes. So this first brush here is a nice big flat brush. This is great for using um, either acrylic or, or oil painting and um, all the brushes are very nice lightweight. They're not super heavy which is great. They have a great balance to them um, so that the tops aren't super heavy. Now the white ones have a bristle that's a little bit more firm. It holds a really good amount of paint um, but I wouldn't probably use it so much with uh, watercolor but they work great with acrylic and again oil paint. So here's the fan brush. Um, again you can get some really cool techniques. The paints I'm trying these out on are all um, watercolor so you can kind of see how they work with watercolor. Um, then that's just because that's the medium that I use the most. I do a little bit of painting with um, acrylic, but not so much. So I really wanted to see how these worked with watercolor, since that's what you see me doing most of the time with. Um, here is a nice flat uh, brush. Uh, this is a uh, size 10, and again, gives you nice coverage to your paint. So this round brush here is awesome. It's a size eight and again, um, does some great larger portions. I, and I love the round tips because you can get a nice effect with them. So here I'm kind of doing maybe a little bit more of a cloud effect. Now going into these brushes here that are kind of more of the orangey color, This is these brushes are awesome for a watercolor. They have really soft brushes, bristles that absorb and hold the water inside, which makes it perfect for watercoloring. So this large brush here um, can hold a lot of paint and cover a lot of your paper. So I use this for, you know, when I'm painting like larger areas or I want to do some nice gradients. This one here is a nice edge. So you'll see that it has a little bit more of an angle to it. It's a number 10 size. So you're gonna be able to get a really nice thin line and by twisting your brush around a little bit it goes out into a nice thicker line which is perfect for painting like petals or leaves um, things like that you can get some very cool effects I love this brush the next brush here is another flat tipped brush it's got a nice a little bit longer of bristles again it's gonna hold a lot of water so this is a size 8 flat brush and um, again you can get a nice chisel edge if you like or a nice flat you know wide coverage as well very versatile so we're working down a little bit smaller, so another flat end brush. This is a size six, a little bit smaller than the other one. It works very similar, but with this brush, you're gonna be able to get in a little bit more detail with your brush strokes. Now what I love about this is all the brushes as I've used them, um, the bristles are not falling out. They're all very well quality brushes. So here is a round tip size nine uh, brush. And again, you're gonna get um, a nice coverage with that one as well. Um, I really enjoyed them. I challenged myself with the Eden picture to create just that picture using just these brushes and it worked really really well. I liked all of the brushes. I mainly use the oranger brushes because they work best with watercolor but you can use all of the brushes um, for different techniques and effects that you get. As you see me working through them I just want to let you know that these brushes are all guaranteed so once you purchase this set then you, after you register it online then if any time any of these brushes um, if there's anything wrong with them, they will be replaced. The company is super duper friendly. Anytime I've contacted them or uh, spoken with them, they have always answered and replied back to me within just a day or two. 
and super duper helpful. I love these round brushes. They come with a nice uh, protector on top that keeps the bristles all together and safe so they don't you know, all spider around. And these brushes are amazing for getting those thick and thin lines. Super awesome brushes. I really, really enjoy this set. A lot of times when you're beginning to uh, get your sets together, um, you have to go to the store and they all sold individually and there's just mountains and mountains of brushes and um, it's hard to choose which one do you want which one would work best for you or if you do get a pack you know you get maybe one or two brushes that you really like and then there's all these other ones that don't work really well this pack I find that almost every single one of the brushes is very useful to me so for for me it was a good it was a great fit. I also really appreciated the price of this. Normally for a high-end brush can be anywhere from 10 to $20 per brush or even more expensive than that if you're getting a really nice quality brush. Where this set here came um, was just a fraction of the cost if you consider all the brushes that you get and the case. So I was asked to give my honest opinion about this set and I really do like this brush set. I would not recommend it for a beginning artist if you're just beginning to think about wanting to paint and you haven't really done a lot of painting before. Um, this is a little bit of an investment. I would I would suggest if you are just beginning to just go ahead and buy a you know one or two brushes from an art store and going with those until you're sure that you really enjoy painting. But if you're ready to begin to invest in a nice quality brush set then this definitely would be one that I would recommend. I will leave a link in the description box below for you to go and re uh, check out their products. You can also watch some other videos of other YouTubers reviewing these paint brushes and see kind of what they have to say. Some exciting news, I have been talking to the people that own this company and explaining to them that I am getting super close to reaching 100,000 subscribers and have been busily gathering things for um, contest prizes. They are generously donating an entire set of these brushes to one of you guys in celebration of reaching 100,000 subscribers. So in an upcoming video, I'll be sharing how you can win a set of these Deartisan brushes for yourself. So if you're not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out. Don't want to miss out. But make sure to head over to the Deartisan website and check out their brushes. They are super awesome. Well, make sure to stay tuned to this channel to find out how you can win your own set of Deardison brushes. And until next time, God bless you guys, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye!